Heather Mahalik here with another Tip Tuesday. I want to talk about getting started with UFED because obviously access matters and many people are new to mobile device forensics. So I'm going to start within UFED and mobile device. And we have built in a few new features to help you gain access to these devices a little bit easier. You can still go to browse devices, which most of us have done. You can search by the model, whatever you want here, but you can also use our device wizard. In our device wizard, you can use the drop down or you can start typing what you believe you have in a phone and you can say, okay, this is what I have. I have Samsung Galaxy S21. When you press next, it's going to tell you right away the type of encryption it has, the type of chipset. So when you think of doing Qualcomm Live, you will know now that Qualcomm is the option you wanted to choose. It tells you anything about the kernel that it can, but more importantly, it lets you enter OS version if you want to and a security patch date if you know that. If you don't, press next. Here it's going to tell you your best type of acquisition. So you can do it in advanced logical, you can do a file system. And when you see file system, this is where I recommend you go first. If you want the biggest bang for your buck, Qualcomm live is going to get you full file system access to this Android device. You can also do manual evidence where you can do chat capture and things I've covered in the past. But again, I would start with file system. You can then do an advanced logical, which will get you additional identifiers. And we tried to explain on the right hand side exactly what you're going to expect. So let's say you choose file system and Qualcomm live. You simply set, select extract and the device will start that acquisition for you. You can then go back and always do additional levels of extraction as needed. And again, you're going to find this by going up to device wizard within UFED. Oh.